Hey everybody, Chris here at U Joint again. Well, here it is. Here is my new daily driver van. This is my 2014 E350 V10. So if you follow us on social media, you'll, you've seen that I got this van back in August. Uh, Justin at our Colorado shop actually sourced it. He got it um, through a family friend. Uh, it was just a kind of a unicorn. Um, V10, 9,700 miles. It had been sitting. Someone had stolen the converters off of it. And I guess that's why they said, hey, let's get rid of this thing. And then Justin bought it. Justin bought it and tried to um, basically spec build it. Didn't really get any bites. And I knew about it the whole time, of course, but I've, I've just got so much going on that I, I wasn't in a position to buy it, or I thought I wasn't anyway. And then after, I don't know, a month or two, he's like, hey man, you want this van? And I said, you know what, I kind of do. So we worked a deal and uh, it came here. So it, it arrived here the first week of August. Um, we uh, immediately fixed the exhaust, put a transfer case in it and redid the rear drive shaft so I could drive it as a two wheel drive. And then we ordered parts and um, yeah, just waited its turn to get converted. So uh, it's 2014 E350 V10, it has, so it has a 5R110 transmission behind that, NV271 behind that, 1350 CV drive shafts front and rear. It has our six inch lift with a 37 inch tire. So we went with this Ditto Recon Grappler AT. It's a 37, 1250, 17. Uh, the actual height though, like measured you know now is 35 and a half inches. So pretty small for a 37, thankfully, because I don't really want to deal with fender uh, mods. Uh, for the wheels, we went with some Innovate Racing G400 wheels, 17 by eight and a half. There's another benefit of going to the 1250-width tires, just a better fit. And, um, yeah, we love the guys at Innovate Racing. They make a what I feel is the nicest wheel available on the market right now, forged and machined here in the U.S. Uh, the front axle is a bit of a, of a, of a mix-up, a temporary mix-up, I should say. So it's a Stage 2 Dana 60, 488 gears, Detroit True Track, um, with the SSBC calipers and rotors. I am running unit bearings on this right now. We, we're trying some experimenting with uh, some different ABS wires to make the RSC happy, um, and that did not work. So we, um, I've got a spin tech kit on order for it. I've had it on order, um, and we're going to swap these unit bearings out for spin tech, uh, for spin uh, hub conversion uh, as soon as it shows up. If you follow us, you've also noticed we use this van to launch our new bumper. This is the FB004 bumper that we're building in-house here. So the center section is the same as our other bumpers, like you see back there. Uh, we just did tube wings instead of the, the uh, sheet wings. And I think it turned out really nice. A lot of guys have been asking for years if we're ever going to go back to our tube style pre-runner bumper. And um, the short answer is no. But I wanted to mix it up a little bit and give you guys a different option for the E-Series front bumper without starting from scratch. So this is a nice compromise and uh, we've been working on this for a while. Um, I've wanted to build this bumper for a year now, but the timing just hasn't been right as we've been so busy with our existing bumpers. We got a second location here in North Carolina just to build bumpers and he's, he was cranking. He basically started in January of, last, of this year 2022 and took them five months to catch up on production and that needed to happen before we started a new bumper so uh, we loaded this up with some a lot of Baja designs we've got some amber fog some clear fog and some clear spot there in the bumper and then up top we've got four LP6 pros wired uh, for low beam and high beam we loaded up the bumper of course got the worn winch got the front receiver Anderson plug OBA port fair lead and factor 55 thimble with some worn shackles all right i think that's it up front um single fox 2.0 res shock in the front just a standard 2.0 in the back this is sitting on alcan springs who is our new spring supplier super happy with them uh, they've been great we've been using them over a year now zero issues and uh, this van drives amazing anybody who still thinks these springs are terrible. Please come. Let me take you for a ride in this thing because I'll change your mind in, I don't know, 100 yards. Had the rockers painted and the flares painted. Uh, magnetic metallic Ford. It's got our side steps. 
Sorry the van's dirty. It's been raining nonstop, and this is my kid hauler, so it gets used. Side steps, roof rack. It does have onboard air. It does have an S-Pod. We're making these new 3D printed door mounted S-Pod switch panels. We do this on all the 92 to 07 vans, or I'm sorry, 97 to 07 vans. But I wanted, um, this van has a brake controller and I didn't want to lose that. <clears throat> we also 3D printed, which this is still in a prototype phase, so it's not fitting perfectly. But we 3D printed this uh, three switch panel to go up here. I think it turned out nice. We still have a little bit of fine tuning to do. I'm not sure if that's something we'll offer or not. So we'll see. Uh, we are running OBA on this thing. Out back is the stock semi float Dana 60, 488 gears, new joint diff cover, standard stuff back there. Uh, out back, we've got our rear bumper with the 37. You can see I do have a little bit of taillight blockage on that driver's side, but I think we'll be okay. Very the trailer plug there, and uh, lots of lights on the roof rack too. So we've got a full length roof rack with full flooring. We've got two work seam lights on each side, another one in the back with an amber chase light and the camera housing. So that's it. Love it. Love this van. Um, I'm going to take it out this weekend on a camping trip. You can see one of my kids' pencils sticking out the door. That's awesome. And that's it. So I think I covered it all. Thanks for watching as always. This van will be around for a while. It's going to get shot for Nitto and Driving Line soon. So I look forward to getting the pro photos from our buddy Ollie. And that's all I can think of right now. So have a good day. If you don't follow us on Instagram and Facebook already, please do. And uh, got any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. Thanks a lot.